Good morning. Today for the first time uh, in English, because all my previous videos were in Spanish with English subtitles. And this one is a very special edition. It's only going to be the final one that says patience. Patience, and uh, but in the situation where we are now, uh, I decided to publish it um, now. It's going to talk about the strategies that we can uh, apply to our accommodation businesses in the near future. I'm Monica from Iguana Hostel in San Cristobal de las Casas, Experiencias Chiapas, um, private tours in Chiapas, and um, accommodation building by Iguana. So, uh, I think, I believe and at this point, you've already painted, cleaned, deep cleaned, uh, polished, varnished all your uh, uh, accommodation, your entire house. Uh, and now uh, you're waiting for what's gonna happen when the first guest gonna come. The forecast, and it's not my forecast, I, I, I just follow different um, sources and webinars. So the forecast is that the first um, first tourist who gonna travel, it's gonna be a domestic uh, tourism, domestic um, audience. And so if you if your clients are already uh, domestic, uh, you are lucky. You only need to uh, keep in touch with them. Uh, keep on your marketing. Don't, don't, don't stop uh, keeping in touch with all your audience. So create special offers, uh, maybe special discounts. I'm not saying that you give it away cheaply, but create something attractive that uh, will let you to uh, make a big marketing. Um, campaign to attract new and old clients. Also, is I found very good tips to create packages for domestic travel. Uh, I, I hope, I believe that you already collaborate with your local uh, travel agent, uh, tour operator, local guide, because of course uh, this is an extra uh, in terms of money and extra in terms of I uh, attractions that make your guests stay longer and enjoying the, the destination. Um, so maybe you can, the, the idea is to create packages for short like weekend breaks or short breaks. Uh, for all people who may not necessarily will want to travel by, by plane, but they can reach your destination by just private transport, private car, and uh, but they all, like we are all desperate to travel and leave our houses and get somewhere in the nature and walk and visit um, places. So, uh, so be optimistic. Definitely, uh, soon you should see your domestic clients back. If you are a hostel and your clients normally are foreigners, uh, in terms of foreigners, uh, there are still foreigners around, uh, uh, pe people who, who couldn't uh, go back to their countries because the flights were cancelled, because the borders are still closed, and now once the uh, the flights are um, again on routes, they are full and they cannot find a um, flight to, to go back. So these people, they, lo they are looking for long-term stays at good prices. Even if you uh, never manage long-term prices, as in case of our Iguana Hostel, um, we never had um, prices for weeks or uh, for month uh, because of course it's more uh, profitable uh, to have a daily rate but in the situation that we are now uh, think about long stays 
and promote them. Of course, loads of promotion on your social media. Uh, and uh, digital nomads, people who work and travel at the same time and possibly they don't want to go back to their home or they don't have a need to go back home. They just need um, a comfortable place at a good price uh, where they can stay longer. So, uh, so these are people to, to attract and uh, at good prices, right? Special packages. And um, maybe after a holiday, if you have many empty rooms, you could offer them to university students. Uh, that would be idea. And the last one, what I want to mention is of course vouchers for the future. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos and if you follow uh, my, my Facebook pages, either Iguana Hostel or my new page, which by the way, I really um, invite you to, to follow, which is uh, Accommodation Consulting by Iguana, uh, where I share articles, trends, forecasts and tips that I uh, think are useful for all the tourism industry. Uh, not only hostels, not only accommodation, not only BNBs. Um, so I really invite you that you follow that page. Um, you will see link in the video description. Um, so I also created a video about uh, Adopt a Hostel campaign that explains what's about and how it works. Although it's not my campaign, it's the global campaign um, created by hosts. Um, uh, hostel consulting and uh, there are many hostels worldwide uh, participating and I really invite you uh, to create vouchers that people can buy now with a special discount possibly a special offer maybe like extra added value uh, that you can uh, you can offer for uh, those who buy uh, vouchers uh, in case of uh, Iguana Hostel, um, uh, the buyers are our friends, our loyal clients, guests who used to visit Mexico um, every year, every couple of years. And I know they already had plans actually to come this year to Mexico. Uh, they had to postpone it, uh, but they still uh, only postpone, they still want to come uh, once it's possible. Uh, and these friends, these loyal clients also to, to support us, to help because they just in love with Iguana Hostel. Uh, it was very comforting and very motivating for us to have these friends and so the donations they made, either donations, either vouchers they bought, uh, it uh, helped us um, to survive and cover all the basic expenses, which are monthly expenses that we need to, to cover, uh, even if we are still empty. Uh, so I can help you to, um, to set up all the um, uh, adopt a hostel um, campaign uh, i mean you're participating in the campaign or you can just set up your vouchers uh, one of their one of the platforms um, for the vouchers is um, gift up uh, otherwise there are many platforms which now are uh, growing and more popular because so many businesses try with um, selling vouchers for the future so uh, that's also another tip. And I think that's it for today. Uh, just very quickly, I hope you liked the video uh, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so far and uh, to follow all the tips uh, and I will uh, publish more tips in English also. Uh, and so that's it and i uh, and patience i didn't say why this tip is patience because in the hospitality in the tourism business 
Uh, like in any business, there are good times and quiet times. Yes, there is always high season and there is always low season. And in hostels, it's very important not to get desperate, not to lose motivation because there is always quiet time. There is always low season that you just have to survive and take advantage of this quiet time to improve, to make all the reparations and improvements and everything that in high season you don't have time for. Uh, so in, in this business, patience is very important. Don't close. So now go to the link in the description and contact me so I will send you my price list. You will see that my prices are very accessible and uh, first of all, uh, because of launching my services, I offer 50% discount to first free clients and I have one more space left for the third client at 50% discount. So contact me right now. Bye.